Today we are going to make a wicked cute tag tuck pocket with dangly fringe. Tara Jacobson, Artsy Fartsy Life. Today I am going to be working on, so we already did these pages, I'll show you real quick. This one, which is embossing. So there's four kinds of embossing. And then this one is the, oh, all the backgrounds is with Distress Ink. And that's a fold over page. So we have half a page to do some other time. But today I took a class from Seth Apter about how to do this very fancy binding. And, and I have an envelope that is exactly the right size to fit that binding. So today we're gonna be doing this envelope, but you have to have one on each side. Okay, so I already cut out a piece of um, mixed media paper that's gonna be this side, but I have serious concerns about the, um, like, so if I just have the envelope, I have serious concerns that it's gonna be sturdy enough to manage, um, I guess, kind of the abuse I put things through. So I'm gonna start by putting a piece of scrap cardstock on here. And I don't know that, nope, this is scrapbook paper. So this is definitely not cardstock. It's just gonna give me a teeny bit more, um, a teeny bit more structure, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And I could do this on my trimmer, but honestly, I'm going to do so many layers that I probably will be cutting off something at some point in time and it'll get trimmed anyways. All right, so let's get our book out of the way so that we don't ruin our book. And I have stuff, I, I do have junk though. And I've lost my junk. Oh, so I took my car to the to the service station the other day, and they gave me this was hanging on the the service thing that I was number three one six four, and then it came with another little tag that was three one six four. So I was trying to figure out what the theme of this this um, page was going to be. And I think it's going to be because tags made me think of stamps or punches because I have so many punches. And this is, I have, I'm going to use punches for this theme. So we're going to have um, different punches that get used. And I have a, I have a punch issue. I buy punches that, um, that make tags. I also buy punches that make Oh, it literally says tag on it. Okay, so I have a tag punch issue, so we're gonna use those. Um, so let's get started with putting this on here. And I have heard that glue sticks are the best for this. So I'm going to use a glue stick. So I'm just gonna use an Elmer's glue stick because that's what I have. Oh, I have my Yoohoo. Okay, I lied to you. I'm gonna use a Yoohoo glue stick Oh, nice! My daughter just brought me a big old Arizona tea. Oh my gosh, we're going to be crafting even longer. Okay, so let's try our glue stick. All right, so I always wonder, do I put it on the thing I want to glue, but I'm going to put it on the back of, because I'm going to use the white side. I don't need this, this part of it. All right, so let's go ahead and I'm gonna go around the edges over what I'm gonna glue on, right? Because then the glue will be there already. I don't worry about getting glue on anything, but maybe that will help us keep this secure and safe. All right, so let's stick this sucker on. All right, do, do, do. Okay, here we go. Now we're gonna give it a wee minute to stick. I'm very impatient with glue. I feel bad that I'm always um, messing with it. Yeah, what's up, honey? I need to max the gram because Graham said. Okay, come on, honey. Go see Josie. Okay, now that we have the glue on the back of this, I'm just gonna use a bone folder and really try to push it down. Okay, so we've got our envelope 
and our envelope still functions like an envelope. Let's make sure. There we go. So now we need to remember that this goes this way because we're going sideways into it and then this is gonna be the other piece. We can't, we can't glue those together now because you glue them when you put them in the bulk. Let's work on these together. Okay, so I have a box full of stuff that I've used that I haven't put on anything yet. So we need some background papers. So we're just gonna get a bunch of background stuff. All right, can we see anything in here? This is all good stuff. We gotta use yucky stuff. All right, what else we got around here? Oh, oh my gosh, I got some fun stuff over here. All right, so we got some good background tissue papers. Unfortunately, I think that means that this guy's back in the box because I'm gonna use ones that I made. All right, so we're gonna do, there's some blues, there's some circles. Okay, I like circles because I think I'm gonna have like, I have circles in my um, punches. I only have, okay, I only have circles and tags. Ooh, how cute is this? So we got some fun numbers. We'll keep that to use later. Pink. You know what? This is the kind of thing, honestly, that you look at and you go, that's ridiculous. It's not even worth doing because I, I flipped a stencil on it and just put it on there. But that's the kind of thing that is going to be gorgeous when it's on. All right, I got something very green. I almost think I'm gonna save this for Christmas. So that goes back over there. Oh, I found some more pieces. So let's see what we, oh, we got a bunch of red. I wonder why I have so much red. Probably my son who loves red. Oh, I think we have my son who loves red. Are we gonna do red? Look, that's red. We're gonna do red. Ooh, I never do red. This is gonna be a Josiah page in honor of my son. Because I do already have this that we can use for stuff when we punch out. That's why you wanna go do a day and do nothing but gel plates, do a day and do nothing but, um, I don't want black with red, That although I do have black with red, but look, let's pick Turquoise and red as our two colors, because I love those colors together when I see them together. Oh, this is exciting. Oh, and those have black in them. So we are doing that. We won't do rainbow. We'll save our rainbows for something else. I don't, green is not it. Maybe we'll do some green with uh, Christmas. That isn't green, that isn't turquoise. That's green with a little bit of blue. Okay, so we've decided yeah, yes. I don't think that's going to work now. We're, we'll keep that with our rainbows. That's going to be another day's fun. All right. So let's, I need to grab, oh. Do, 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 do. Okay, I have yucky water over there, but it'll still work. And I want to tear this up a little bit. So with tissue paper, I'll pull it up here so you can see it. With tissue paper... You can just do that and then it will come right apart where you wet it. Cause this is cheap, cheap, cheap tissue paper. So I don't want to cover the whole thing with one big piece of tissue paper or it wouldn't be very interesting, right? Like that would be very, um, very generic and boring and I don't want to have to fight my background by making it more interesting later on. I want to have interest in it right from the very first layer. So, well, you know what? We're never gonna find this again. So we're gonna take this guy. He's coming along. I don't actually know what color he is. I think he was just a goober from another project, but he will make a fine addition to this one with us. All right, so we got those guys. Let's do these black ones. All right. Let's 
see. Well, there's an obvious break here, so let's do that break. And then do we wanna make a long one? We didn't go this way. So we'll make a long one, we'll go this way. So this is our last piece. And let's do this one in thirds too. And we may or may not use all of this, but if we don't use it, I'll put it back in that pile over there. Never fret, never fret. And this actually has some cool stuff on it because I don't know if you could see, but there's white up there. That's why I'm not always getting off the edge. Okay, so these are gonna be our front and back. Let's start putting down some, let's just use Mod Podge because this is gonna be a fast project. This is just a play project, right? So you should have real artwork you do that you're proud of and that you're, um, that, that, mean something but you should also have play projects that are for fun that you don't have to worry about all right now we'll go over with the top this is mod podge you could also use a uh, ranger gel medium you could use there's a bunch of them um I was going for the ease of, I have a tiny bottle of it sitting in front of me on the desk. And when you go over it on the front side, it helps hold it down, but it also um, gives it a coating. So this is kind of um, stuck on here and we'll be able to do other things on it without moving the um, losing the integrity of this layer. Okay, so we'll do that. And then this is our window and our things over here. So it's the right way around for me. I don't know if it's the right way around for you, but okay, so, okay, we got our dots. And I just bought one of these little bottles. I just keep filling it up. And I'll tell you a secret, it may not be Mod Podge in there. Do we want it that? Yeah, let's set it off to the side a little bit. It might be some other kind of medium like Liquitex or something like that, something cool. But those guys don't make them in tiny bottles like I get at Michael's for $2.49, which is a ridiculous amount to pay per ounce for Mod Podge. All right, so we got some wrinkles over there. Wrinkles are good. Wrinkles add texture, people. Do not be sad about your wrinkles. I'm 53 years old. I'm not sad about my wrinkles, so you can't be sad about your wrinkles. All right, do we have another kind? We got this kind. Let's put that kind there. All right. Boop, boop, boop. There we go. Oh, that's kind of cute. Already it's cute. This is Josiah's work. He is um, he is a real helper when it comes to doing my um, gel plates. He likes to do them, and he comes up with combinations that I wouldn't necessarily do, which is what is um, one of the really cool things when you work with somebody else for a little bit and you realize, oh, I've been stuck in a rut and I never, I'm gonna do this one in half, but you get stuck in a rut and realize you're doing the same thing over and over again. When somebody comes along and they're like, oh, well, why don't we use red and black? And you think, I would never use red and black. And then along comes a project and you think, oh my goodness, red and black. Now I'm gonna have too much for right here. But that's okay, because we're getting ready to turn this around and do this side. We're gonna have to pull off this part I didn't stick on very well, right? Otherwise, it will, it will come back to haunt us later. All right. And that's kind of a straight line there. All right. Yay, this looks cute. I have um, 
couple people have asked me why I shake, and I don't have Parkinson's or anything like that, but I'm a blogger, and I spend about eight hours a day on the computer, and I just got down from uh, riding my bike upstairs where I was holding the handlebars, and so my wrists are a little weak right now, and so, we will have to, I live in Florida, excuse me. I live in Florida, so um, we will be back in an hour or two when this actually dries. Um, yeah, so that's our first layer. Very cool, I like it. Okay, my papers are all dry, so I'm gonna cut off these edges. And I have decided to make this a tag along. Get it, tags, all tags, because all my punches are tags. But tag along, tag your it, and then I'm going to make some other little things. And this is going to be made with um, Heidi Swap's uh, mink. So I'm going to put... I printed this out on my computer and functionally I'm going to get the reverse of this, right? So it, wherever there's toner, this piece will stick to it. And I will show you in one second after I put it through the machine. Okay. So I ran it through and here we go. So I have this shiny piece of of typing paper, which is fine. I mean, I'm probably going to use some different things. I'll do some stuff, but this is actually what I was trying to accomplish here. I want to have these to put onto my envelopes, right? The sides of my envelopes. So let me just cut off this edge and I will show you what I mean. It's kind of like getting the reverse so that I can put it on my different sides. So I have to figure out my sides though, right? We have to make sure this is right side up because I don't want to put this into my book upside down. So this is the front and this is the back. So we're gonna do, will it fit? Gotta see if it'll fit across there. I might have to stagger it, which I would like better anyways, probably. Okay, here we go. And this isn't gonna be very obvious. Oh, it'll fit perfectly, okay. So, Let's go ahead and cut this out. And I just want the words. I don't want the silver part. Okay. So now you have to have some kind of medium to stick it on. And I'm using this foil transfer medium. And I'm gonna put this on the darkest part right here. And I think you could put this on with anything, but I tend to just smudge it on. Right, you don't want too much. Just a little bit. And we're gonna put this on here. And then when I run this through the mink, it will transfer that word. Okay, I did a step in between here that I wanna show you that did not work. So I tried to make a, um, a cool thing um, with words using the mink, which is Heidi Swap's thing. But I didn't think about the fact that 
these are made out of acrylic paint and acrylic paint melts in heat. So I had to go back and cover up some of where it messed up. So like on here, you can see the, the mink, the heat tool fused that with the white tissue paper that I used as a covering. And here is even a spot where I'm down. But that's okay because I tried something and it didn't work. I have a little bit of a tag there. That's kind of cute. I tried something and it didn't work, but do you know what? It did add some texture. I have something there. I know what I'm gonna do. And now I know not to do that. So I didn't wanna just like kind of gloss over it and go, and you guys come back and go, well, that doesn't look exactly like she had it. I wanted to show you that I did go ahead and do a little bit of cleanup. I put this over top. Um, I like the way this tissue paper looks as these layers. Um, and then this one, you can see a little bit of the tag along, but it didn't work very well. Um, but that's okay, I don't mind. Next step is going to be to make some tags while I let those dry. Okay. So remember our box of stuff. I am going to take some of our stuff and make some tags out of it. Oh, how cute is that? A little owl. Okay. And these are Tim Holtz ephemera. So this is gonna make a good tag because I want it to be kind of dark. We have black going and white and red. So we wanna try to find black and white and red but we have to have it be a little bit bigger. Like that would be really cool, but it's small. So let's keep looking. This would definitely be big enough. Let's set that aside. I don't know if we're gonna use it. Those guys would be fine. Oh my gosh, this one speaks to me and this one speaks to me that they could be actual tags that, um, so one thing that happens when you're doing this is you get in a mindset where you're like, oh, I need to make all the tags. Well, I don't need to make these tags, right? They're already tags. So I am gonna keep them out. Oh my gosh, look at that. That's amazing. Okay, so this looks like an old ledger page. I'm definitely gonna use this for one. All right, we've got some numbers. We've got some butterflies. That could, that could maybe work. Now I like the, see, this is more sweet and this is more grungy. Plus this is a little bit heavier paper. Tim has a different, couple different kinds of things. I don't remember the differentiation, but some of it is uncoated plastic and then this is coated plastic. And so I want that for that. Oh my gosh, look at this. Okay, we're gonna keep this. We're gonna keep this. Let's see, Undertaker. Oh my gosh, that's fun. I actually want to keep that. Oh, 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 here we go. Here's two black things, so we're going to keep those. I like where we're going with this. I like this. Okay, here's this. This is black, so see? Okay, now that I'm... Why you want to pull out a whole bunch of stuff is because as I'm looking at things, this is very gray, black, neutral, black, this is kind of brown, black, neutral. This now looks to me more blue, right? Now, not to say I won't use it, it could be contrast. This is more green, so I'm gonna keep that in. Um, this is more black, and this is more blue. So then maybe we could start to think about that, but these guys are just meh now. Not to worry, we'll use them in something else. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba, two red, two red. Those are my printables. These are my printables that I did for Halloween. Very cute, if I do say so myself. That is not good. Some little birdies, yay. Yeah, that's kind of a brown, because I want it to have, that's a real stamp. I want it to have a mix of things. Ooh, that's really cool. I actually want to keep that for something. Plus when I go through my stuff, then I realize, oh, I have this cool stuff. Okay, I wanna use this because we have black going on. I don't want the shiny letters. These are really shiny. 
and that's not what I'm going for. But what about before we say, oh, this is a piece I cut off of, um, this is vellum, off a little bit. I think we can use that. Let's pull our, our stamps back out. I have other stamps, but they could add interest. Don't forget, we have to have layers on our tags. So, so don't just grab stuff for, oh, that's a piece of um, tissue paper that I printed. So that'll work good. I don't know if I want those guys on this. Oh, here's some more little tissue papers. Okay, good. We'll use those. That's cute. Put that in here. Oh, I think these are, I can't remember what he calls them, but these little tiny bits are great for layers. Um, they're like the other ephemera, but little tiny bits. So those are gonna be good for our layers. Oh, here, and I'll show you the difference in size. So you got one size and then a little weensy one of each thing. Okay, those I would have to do too much to. I don't want any faces. See, nope, those are weird. Which weird is good. I love weird in a certain way, but not for this. Oh, here's some more weensy things. Okay, I'm glad we got to the bottom of the box. I made that a bug. That's not part of this. Um, but look, we have red because we have red in our things, so we want to pull out the red things. That's a little baby one of one I think we've seen already. That may be one. And obviously, I mean, I'm... I think that one of the most important things is organizing your stash. <laughs> no, right? I have my box. I actually have a container where I put this stuff um, over there. Oh, there's a little ticket. Oh, I wonder if we should make some tickets too. I don't know. This is one I cut up already. There's some little ones, fun. You know I'm joking, right? That that organizing my stash is not my best thing. All right. Okay, so those little guys are there. That could go there. Those are all the right colors. What else we got over here? Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Shake well. Shake well, that's cute, but I want to save that. All right. Poison is red, so we'll put it over here. It doesn't mean we have to use it, but I want to have it in case I need it. Beware. Oh, we can make that a tag. How fun. That could be a good tag. Look like a little dead rose. I like that. This is a real stamp. Let's pull that out. Okay. Okay, good. So that's going to be for this. All right. So now we have to start figuring it out. I'm gonna move this stuff over here to dry. And here's our some of our punches, because this is a punch challenge, right? Okay, so we have this punch that has cute ones. You can see them in there, right? They don't come with holes, so I don't have to have holes in them, but wait till you see. I had the best idea in the shower this morning where um, most people say, oh, you, you, uh, you get all your best ideas in the shower because you're not paying attention to other things, but I think it's because the marketing gods live in there, or the, the art gods in this case. Okay, so let's see how this, I've never used this punch, so it says that you put this in here, and you put something in there, and then you punch, and it makes a back. So we're gonna have to put something on the back of, I don't think any of these are two-sided. We're gonna have to have some two-sided papers for that one. So maybe that'll be something a little bit different. But here's another punch. So we have round top tags, two bubble end tags, funky tags, and then this tag one. And no, I don't have a tag issue. <laughs> Crack me up. Okay, so let's start making some stuff and think about what we're doing. So let's get our guys back. Where's our opening? I don't think I totally sealed it together. Okay, there's our opening. And this is gonna go this way. Okay, so we're gonna have tags across this bottom to start. So I'm gonna just start making some cool tags. And this thing is gonna be our first one. 
And what you do with these guys is you take this off and it has a plate in between that keeps, I don't know, keeps you from hurting yourself. But then you gotta find something that fits right there. And then this has magnets. Boop. Okay, so it goes this way. And then you just push them out. Okay, that's cool. That is really cool. Okay, I like those tags, two little ones. And you take this guy off, nice. Um, and of course, we'll keep this. I don't need this kind of wicky part over here, but this part we'll use for layering. Um, let's make another one of these. That is not big enough. We, oop, we need something red. Did we have something red? We didn't have something totally red. There's something red. Can we make a whole, t oh, will it fit? It'll fit. See, the nice thing about this one is because this holds it so so carefully. Nope, I don't think it's gonna be big enough. I don't think this tag, like you have to have a little bit on either side to make it work. Okay, here's a different color. And let's try doing them the right way up this time. So I want, Put this over. Okay, and it just shoots itself in there. There we go. Little tags. These are We Are Memory Keepers. Clear Cut Punch. Very fancy. Got it. What else do we want to make? So we got a couple of those. Don't forget in in uh, mixed media, if you do something once, you have to do it again. So we couldn't have just one. We may even come back and make three, but we don't have to do that right now. So we're gonna put this one aside for a, for a minute. And we're gonna make some of these guys. This is just like a regular punch that you might be used to. But we need something a little bit bigger to fit in there. That'll work fine. Nice. Those are cute. So we have a black one. I don't know if I need tons of black ones. Um, and I'm sure some people could use these negatives for something, but I tend to try to throw things out as I go. Even though it may look like I'm not organized, um, I don't like to have a ton of scrap, like just garbage scraps around. I would rather have a ton of um, actual art supplies and I can't have a ton of art supplies if I have a ton of junk around, right? I don't know that I want two of this one. What do I have else? Oh, that's fine. All right, let's do this. Ah, that's that coated cardboard that's harder. Okay, I like those. So we got a couple of those. And now we got to go, this one's easier to put away because you don't have that little clippy clippy on it. Let's do this one. This is a different one. It has a little different shape. I know you may not be aware of all the different, in, oh, we got tons of good stuff on this one. Okay, so we're going to, we will use these pieces. And let's just cut up to this line. And then we're going to cut over to this line. Right, that's a nice piece. And then we got this piece down here. We're gonna use these scraps as layers. Now, I wouldn't keep scraps like this in my real scrap stash, but remember, we had this skeleton, so having these little pieces of offcut sometimes can really work in your favor. Okay, so now we need some other colors. This is cute. This is coffins, caskets, and robes. Very cute. All right. And it looks like I'm gonna get coffins and caskets. How exciting is that? All right, so we got those guys. 
Did we find anything red? I don't know if I feel like I found something red. Oop. Trying to get all my tags separate from my stuff. All right, what happens? Can we get this in here? We cannot get that in there. Oh, I have something stuck in there. All right, this little wiki words down here we'll keep. And this word, Thomas Little, whoever he was, he's going to be in our stuff. All right, I have to go find something red. I'll be right back. Okay, these are um, somewhat the same ephemera, but in um, vellum form. So see, this is kind of see-through. But I think that's going to be cool to have something a little different. I don't know. What do you think? Let's, let's keep looking. Okay, I have a huge stash of actual vintage stuff that I like to use. Like, I might use that. What's on the back of this? Oh wait, is that red? Ooh, that's a Chris, old, old Christmas card with some fun colors. I don't know if we need that. Look, I got cute stuff. I have just piles of this because I'm cool that way. These are hard. These are actual, that would be perfect, but that's an actual hard card. All right. Sandy Claus. Ooh, I'm thinking about making some free vintage ephemera. So that would be good. There's more of that weird stuff. I don't know if I see anything that, oh, there's another one. There's another one. Ooh, what about that? That's a bad, what's on the back of this? If this is a postcard, be a postcard. That is what we're gonna use right there. A grungy postcard that is not actually real. And I literally have bags and bags of this, so please don't feel like I'm ruining something. I think a lot of people spend a lot of time thinking they're gonna ruin something. And I think very rarely, like this isn't precious. This isn't a picture. This is a picture of Tol Tolkared, uh Montana. Um, and you can think, oh, well, but you could sell it or you could do whatever, but it's not in good shape. It's water stained, it's watermarked. The beauty of it for this project is that it's in bad shape. But as far as anybody using it for something exciting, it's not in good enough shape for anybody to use it. And I like mixing real vintage with um, like Tim Holtz stuff because then it has an air of authenticity to it, right? We might use some more of this, but I don't know yet. Okay, so now we have some tags. You know what we could do? We could use this one, because remember this is the weird one that needs a front and a back, and we could do that. So let's see, I have my baby mini trimmer. So this says two inches. I love this little guy. Okay, so two inches is right there. Let's see, we wanna do it this way. Scooch it under. There's two inches. I'm gonna to wanna to pull this up and push it towards the top because this is pretty big for a baby little mini trimmer. Oh, I'm gonna to have to go put this on my real trimmer. I think it'll only do little paper. My other trimmer is Martha. Martha's trimmer works great. I've got one, Martha. Okay, so two inches, they said. Well, it's not quite two inches. All right, let's see. Oh, it fits in now. Okay, so we got this in there. 
This is you and me the first time. I bought this a while ago, but I haven't used it. Let's see what happens. Okay, what happened was the side parts, this part was strong enough to do it, but these little circles weren't strong enough to make it. So we have a tag. We're gonna put stuff on it. Ooh, I like that side. We're gonna put stuff on it, so do not, like, do not stress out that that didn't work, but let's try something actual in there. Okay, now I just have to see how it works. Okay, so stick this in here. All right, we got it in there, it's a little tight. Those bottom ones are not going through. It's not a good punch. Aw, we are memory keepers. You let me down. All right. Well, we're not going to worry about it. So, we kind of have a top of a tag there, but that didn't work. That's a bummer. Okay. Okay. So functionally, this is to like pay to get it taken back would be too much. So I probably will just trash this. Um, I don't get myself all worked up about things. Okay, here are some other punches we have. So let's see if there's something else we want to make with this. Okay, I have a tree. I don't know if I'm feeling tree. What are you feeling tree? Just for a shape. I don't know why I have a bird punch. It was probably on sale. I don't really like birds. So we're gonna put those to the side. And then, oh, I have baby punches. Okay, I'm showing you behind the scenes, so I don't expect you to be all judgy about my punch issues, right? Okay. So this makes a, um, a grommet size hole. So we're gonna definitely use this. Let's make some black ones, since we got this black stuff. It makes little circles, and I love circles. All right, so let's make some red circles. Uh, what do we wanna use, garbage? She's garbage. Did that work? Oh, it's got an edge, so we gotta Let's try to keep our circles over here with our other stuff. Oh, that didn't work. wonder why. All right, let's try it this way. And that worked just fine. So we've got a couple little circles. Let's see what else we got around here. All right, this is a bigger circle. This is an inch, I believe. I have an inch and a fourth, but it doesn't punch very well. You would think with how punches let me down that I would have um, given up on them, but I don't. I have like a punch issue. Okay, let's go with this, get some cool part of this, and then we'll still have all this to use. Neat. All right, that's good. And then, do we have anything else big enough to make a circle? Oh, how about this one that didn't work? We'll use this one that didn't work. We'll take our oogie parts and just cut them off. And now, see, there's oogs on the back. All right, there we go. So now we got some stuff. Okay. Oh, this is fun. Okay. So this is our front and this is our back. Wait till you see what I have in mind for this. It's such a good, good idea in the shower today. See, now that looks great. Oh, it's got a funky edge still. So let's fix our funky edge. And don't forget, I can always, if I'm cutting 
the envelope part that holds it together, which I think I am, there's multiple things we can do. We can, one of my favorite things to do, adds more color. So let me go and get that. All right, here we go. So which end kind of got a little open? That's just pulled away, it's not open. Did this end get a little open? I don't know, I think we're okay. Anyways, I would just use some washi tape, which adds, say it with me, class, another layer. All right, here we go. But now we'll save it. Now that it's here with us, we'll use it on something. Okay, so we have this. This is gonna go together like this. And this does say tag along, which is very cool. And now, move all this stuff away. Move the, here's one of our tags. Move this away. Move this away. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna make a layer of tags here at the bottom that overlap. Some are gonna be longer, some are gonna be shorter. You're gonna love this. This is gonna be super, super fun. Oh, look at this guy. Okay, see now we have all kinds of fun colors to work with, because we did that. All right, there's that. I need one more. I almost want a different color. Okay, so we have totally different colors, but those are the same shape. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Look, oh my goodness. You guys were yelling. You were like, use the Undertaker, use the Undertaker. Okay, so these are perfect. We're gonna put these on here at some point. So we know that's what's gonna happen. Probably we'll use these guys on here somewhere to hold our grommets. And these we'll use later in the project. But wait, I have these cool ribbons that I got from, oh, I'm almost sad. I feel like that's not gonna fit in with our red and black. Hold on, never fear. All right, number one, I have these cool ribbons, <laughs> right? Okay, so this will be perfect. So we need a piece of this, and we wanna think about, this is gonna be, let's go look at our book. Where'd our book go? Oh, I've lost our book. I feel like it has to be here somewhere. There it is. All right, so we're doing this one. So we need this much so it sticks out a little bit. But we need it times two. Boink, boink. And a little bit more so that we have some play in there. Okay, so we have this one. We need another red one, at least. What's this one? Okay, there's a good one. Do we have any other cute red ones? Ooh, look at this. Oh, that's like tinsel. That's gonna be so good for my Christmas one, but I don't think it's for this project. Okay, I would like one more. How many do we have? We have five, so let's do two red ribbons, like that. All right, then I have a whole bunch of vintage ribbon I got at the thrift store. What I'm looking for is different colors, different textures, different ages, right? That's what makes the world, that's what makes your art interesting is to have different stuff. Okay, so there you go. That one had a little pin in it. Look how fancy that is. I'll put it back. Some nice crafty lady from days gone by knew to put a little, put a pin in it, sister. Well, okay. I was gonna say she's much, no, I'm gonna stick myself with it. Okie dokie, so we'll just put that pin to the side and put these back the way we always do. Because I for sure would stick a pin in myself. 
Now that's super fun. And I think this is, this is getting ready to fray like a crazy person. So we're just gonna do this. I don't want this, I mean, I don't mind if it frays a little bit, but I don't want this to fray all the way up. See, it's already, parts of it are falling off. So we don't want that. So let's put a little glue on there and see if that'll make itself stick. Okay, now we're back to this. I feel like it's probably best to do them and then stick them. What do you think? All right, well, let's work on them and then we can figure out when we feel the ideal time is to stick them on our project. So here's a trick. I always, always, always had trouble getting my holes in the right place. So now, when I just use the crocodile, now I'm smarter and I make a big old dot so that I don't put the hole in the wrong place. So it's gonna be right about here because I always think the hole should be closer and then come to find out it shouldn't be. All right. We're just doing our five for right now. I'll probably do a whole bunch when you're not here because, you know, you can't be around for everything. All right, let's grab the crocodile. I have a very cool bag behind me that has all my stuff. Okay, so we're gonna make our holes with this and all you do is you stick it in here and now you look for your little circle that you made and you get your finger out of the way so you don't get yourself and then it's in the middle, it's not so funky. See, right in the middle, good me, good me. I tend to squish my finger a lot with the crocodile, which makes me super sad. All right, is that five? That's four, here's five. There we go. Oh, it's still off kilter. All right. Let's go ahead and do these guys. Well, we'll do them when they're on here. Will we do them when they're on there? Would it be easier to do them here? All right, let's just do them here. Let's see how close we came. That's not too bad. Once you put the grommets in, you can hardly see these guys. They're just for a layer. All right, that guy's wonky. That's okay, we don't mind. We don't mind, okay. So if you want the perfect crafter, probably this isn't your channel. Okay, so now we have five of those. We need grommets. See what we got handy. Those are not grommets. Do we have any grommets in here? This is an old project, but let's see what we got in here. So there's one, there's, that's stuff we'll use later. Nope, all right. We're gonna have to get our grommet jar out. I've probably used all my grommets. Okay, so what do we have already? We have kind of a brassy one. We do not want pink. We got this guy, he's kind of a brassy one. Maybe a little different color, he looks like two. Hold on, yep, he's two. So we got a big fatty, a big mouth one, and two little ones, good, we want some variety. Do we have any black ones? I know I have black ones, let's look for a black one. That's a baby one. 
Okay. I'm looking for a black. Oh, here's a different one. Okay, I don't know if that baby one will work. Let's find a black one. I used a bunch of my black ones on my uh, Halloween, so maybe we can't find one. All right, well, we'll go with that. So we have several different grommets. Okay. Crop it out. So now for this, we're gonna put this on this one and let's make sure which way we want it. We may be actually happy it's a little cattywampus because it wouldn't have, it would have stuck out over the edge, see? And then let's stick this through. There we go. Okay, see? You're not gonna see much of that under one anyways, but this is gonna be cool. So there we go. One. We got this guy. Ooh, we'll go on this one, which has a flat top. Look at that. See, you were worried and things always work out. There's a little one. Okay. So, I don't know if this is the right way to do it, but what I do is I put my grommet on this guy, and then I put this up here, because you always want to make sure you have it the right way around. But I can show you the finish. See, I did it backwards. Darn it. Well, we are just going to have to live with that. Can we live with that? Do we have a little grommet? Let me show you how to fix it when you mess up your grommets. That's just disappointing because I am a professional grommeter. But you can fix anything, I promise. You know how you fix things with craft supplies. That's how you fix things. All right. See, perfect. Okay, so we need to do something fun with this because all the backs of these are gonna be seen and they're gonna be having stuff hanging down from them, but I also don't want to spend a whole lot of time on this. Um, so I just want something cute that will make it look like it was kind of deliberate, right? Um, so I'm just looking around and I have some gold paint that I used for another project and I'm just going to paint the black of the back of these gold. And then I'm going to have to come back in a little while because I live in Florida and it takes forever for paint to dry. So no sense in messing around with it. I will just go get something else done. And we're back. <laughs> it's been a while I had my lunch and they're still a little wet okay so now let's look some of the I was hoping that would happen some of the gold came up on the sides okay perfect I was thinking I might just do that but look we got a teeny bit of gold okay so now we want these to be fun and we want to remember they're going to be upside down so Let's do that. Um, what do we have? So we have some of the stuff we used, but look, there's some googies on here. Let's grab those. That we'll put over here with the other papers. Didn't we have some more tissues? There's some, I think that's some Tim Holtz tissue. Let's tear a couple of pieces of that off. Because those are gonna be just the right size, huh? Okay. All right, those are gonna be cool on here. All right, so we have a couple little pieces of different kinds of tissue paper. 
thought we had another little piece of tissue paper in here, didn't we? My last, yesterday's project is uh, creeping into my today's project, which wouldn't happen if I put my stuff away, but that's not going to happen. Okay, we, let's find our stamps. So we have some stamps. I like those. Oh, here's our very special tag. we got to keep that separate. All right, that's just a little, even that's too little for me. Let's start to clean up a little bit. Let's get rid of the stuff that doesn't work. Okay, so now we need little tiny things. I like poison. So we're going to put that on something. Kind of like it there. We got this guy. No, I don't know about that. How about some circles? Ooh, look at that. Oh, I love that. Okay, we're going to do that there. Or do we do it on here? Let's see where we like it better. It can't be on black. No. <laughs> no, that was very bad. Okay, here's another little circle. This one is a vellum circle. So we're still going to be able to see stuff through it. That's kind of cool, right? That's like a little dark thing. If we make a circle stuff. Now, don't forget, don't, we're not sticking anything down. There's another poison. I don't know how many poisons I want. I don't want everybody to think I'm trying to kill them. Oh, here it was. Okay, so we have a circle. I'm going to put that on this one because that'll, that'll somewhat disappear. Let's get it on the other side, though, because we don't want to have too much of the same thing. All right, we got stamps. I don't even know what this is. It's a three cent stamp. I think it's a chicken. It's a chicken. Okay, so we're gonna have a chicken, but I definitely don't need this whole chicken. Or I guess this whole stamp. All right, so let's do, we're gonna do part of this stamp up here at the top in the corner. And we'll, we'll save this here because it'll go in another part of the design. All right, what else we got? Do, oh, we have this flag we made. Do we want to put this? No. It's not the right place for it yet. Let's keep looking. Oh, we have this flag we made. There we go. That goes there. All right, this stamp is not the right color for this. I would like, I think, a little bit of words on there. I'm gonna have some kind of words from everything we cut up, right? Oh, here we go. Oh, we made that into a cute tag. I have been making cute stuff. <laughs> So this honestly is the thing. People say, oh, you work fast or whatever. I can look at something and know within a second if I feel like it's the right thing, right? Like I don't have to sit and agonize over it and figure out, can I make it work? If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Oh, that's perfect. Okay. I would like a little bit of color there, I think. If we could get some, can we pull some of this? Ooh, how about if we do this? And just put this up in the corner. Would that be cute? Okay, we're gonna do that because that gets us another shape and it pulls in something else. So I just need something for here. Just something little. I don't want any more little circles right this second. We'll come back for circles, but um what do we think about that too much this one's hard because we're going to be late i think because we're going to be layering them we can't have overlapping stuff what about a pb we're going to just say i just want a pb and then people will be like what is pb Okay, so we're gonna put a little PB on there. Do we need something up here, right? We gotta have layers. I have another circle. No. No, 
Just know that did nothing for that. We're not going to add a layer of some. Oh my goodness. Look at that little weensy stamp. It's going on there. Okay. Maybe half of it. Do we want half of it? I think I want half of it. Do I want half of it? How would I make it half? Oh, I don't know. No, I'm going to have to put the whole stamp on there. Okay. All right, so now I am going to use Art Glitter Glue because it has the tiniest, teeniest little um, nozzle. And that way I can just, um, if you're going to be doing little tiny ephemeras, like you almost have to have this thing because then you can be really um, specific in your placement. I wouldn't really want to try to do this little baby ephemera stuff without it. cute oh that wound up being right on it i thought i was going to put it off to the side um okay so now we need to do a teeny tiny bit of um some kind of liquid glue okay when we said a teeny tiny bit we meant a teeny tiny bit so now i'm gonna have to do the Let's do all the tissue paper since we put too much on. Let's just get a little, a little piece of this. Right? Boop. All right, so there's a little just a little bit of something, something on there. Um, for sure, I want something on this one to lighten it up a, a wee bit. And there's a little piece of, I know you can't see that piece of grunge, but I can see the piece of grunge on there. So we're gonna put a little piece of grungy tissue paper on this one. And this Mod Podge will help stiffen up these uh, these elements too. Well, you know what? Honestly, we can use it to stick our stuff down too. All right. Okay. No sense in waiting. I am all for using your supplies. I'm also for not wasting your supplies. So if I accidentally pour out too much Mod Podge, which is a glue and a, um, it's a glue and it, and it's a, it's a layer that helps protect and coat and things like that so see we could do this whole thing in mod podge and it's going to make it more protected and stiffer and we can use it as glue so that's what we're going to do all right now we have our little stamp i love this stamp i feel like we're covering up the fact that that's a horse but you will find once you start doing this more that you kind of get over the different little pizza pieces and parts being so precious. Ooh, do we want to do a little bit of, uh, this will be good for the tissue paper because I can tear it right along that edge. Okay, that's good. See, we're getting there. There are no mistakes in art. My father-in-law is a artist and was an art teacher for 35 years. And he tells me all of the time that there are no mistakes in art. 
And I think I have absorbed that and I just go with whatever happens. All right, here's our little PB. Okay, that little one's done. And what were we doing with this one? Uh-oh. So first off, I used up all my Mod Podge. Second off, I think I lost a circle. So well, let's go ahead and that won't work. How about a little plain circle? Okay, we'll do a little plain circle on this one, but let's do it on a different, I guess we could do it on this side. And then we are gonna put this little black piece. Okay, perfect. We're not gonna try to pour out any more Mod Podge because I'm too derpy for that. We're gonna use our very special art glitter glue that you really can't screw up. And then you keep a, a pin in it so that it doesn't get stuck. Okay, all right. You know what, you guys? From doing that, hmm, hmm. I feel like I want to do something fun with these, like they're getting all fancy. So I think once I get them done, like get them dried, they're almost dry. They're so not almost dry, you guys. I lie to you all of the time. I live in Florida, they will be dry in November. But I'm thinking, I'm thinking I want to glossy accent them to make them hard and cool and fun. All right, that guy we put back in our pile, right? We might use that. You want to do it? You want to try it? Are you with me? Okay, let's take a vote. Who thinks... We should leave well enough alone and they're fine the way they are and they don't need another layer. And who thinks we should glossy accent these suckers? All right. I don't, ooh, almost cut off a part of that. Um, I don't think you're gonna be surprised. We're gonna glossy accent them. So that does two things. It's gonna protect them, it's gonna make them um, heavier, and it's also gonna put a really high sheen on them, which sometimes I want no sheen, which then I would use a matte Mod Podge or a matte um, medium, but sometimes I want them to be kind of shiny. Do we need to? Okay, well, we do have to think before we do that. I know on this one, I'm going to have to, and I think I did it back. Nope, they're right side up. Remember? Boop, boop, boop. Good me. Good me. Um, I think on a couple of these, I need to do a, um, a wee bit of stamping just so they're not. Not too plain. All right. So what do we got here? We got this. We got that. We got this. All right, let me grab a little stamp. I got some little ones in the bottom here. Okay. Uh, All right, that one work. And we are just gonna take some, we gotta find some permanent archival because we're going to be putting something wet over them. So we can't be using something like a Distress. Oh, see, that looks so much better. Just a little bit on there. 
All right. That guy has the tissue. This needs broken up bad. There we go. Um, oh, this guy needs a little something, something. Oh, see, that made all the difference in the world. And then over here... There we go. Oh, I love those. I think those turned out great. Oh, that gave it. All right, I'm gonna have to stop sometime. Okay, I'm stopping now. Okay. Now we glossy accent. And this, we're gonna put on here because honestly, I'm gonna have to be able to move them off my tabletop sometime today, and they will not dry today in Florida. They just won't. It, you have to dry them overnight. And I'm really sorry, I'll start it for you so you can see it, but I'm gonna have to, um, it's really kind of fun. I may need a pin to get it open. I need a pin to get it open. Oh, I have a pin. I have that pin that nice old deer crafter gave me. All right, here we go. Here we go. Okay, you have to remember I'm an impatient crafter. I'm sure some nice crafters probably put it out the right way all over. Hi, honey. I'll be done in a minute. But... I like to put it out. Maybe this is why it never dries. I like to put it out and then move it around my project. You'll see there's little areas you can tell it didn't get into, so you want to get it into there. Uh-oh, we got some on the edge that it didn't get on. You can just pull it around, right? It's liquid, like a stiff liquid. Is there a hole in the middle there? Okay, and then we gotta go around this edge. And my fingerprint will come out of that because look, see, watch, it's, it's closing itself up. Okay, I feel like there's a couple little in here we have to get. It looks just, right now to me, it looks a trifle milky but it will dry perfectly clear. Oops, I don't think I got this whole little edge side. So I'm gonna just go in and get that last little bit of edge. Okay, so I'm not gonna make you watch through all of these. I'm gonna glossy accent all five of these. So now we are going to put the tags down here and glue them on. And we have to figure out what order. So I feel like this is our main tag, right? Do we all want them to be in a line? I don't think I had the idea for them to be in a line. So, well, I like this one over here. Okay, I know what I'm gonna do. We're not gonna make this so hard on ourselves. Oh, I want that block again, because it with the grommets, it's easier if we set it up on the block to squish. Right? Okay. So, let's put this guy on. And maybe we'll put him a little bit lower than I would have thought. And they'll be okay, because they got that um, glossy accents on them. Okay, let's get that all pushed down. I have a ton of glue on my hands already. Let's see if we got glue coming out the back. All right, that's a good one. And then we have, so do we go dark, dark, light, light. Now that one could go way down, right? 
This one's our middle one. And this one's, yeah, because he has a, a hanger offer. Okay, so this guy's going to be this other edge. Sedite, sedite, sedite. Boop. Okay. All right. Now we need this one. And we said we were going to put this one way down, so we only need it here on the top. Get our block under there. Okay, that's good. All right, this one, can we go way down? No, I don't think so. Let's just... So I either want to do those two... Oh, then we wind up with three in a row. So we are going to go down a little bit on this one. We don't want three in, of anything in a row because then whatever else is the other two look like they're wrong. And we don't want any of our tags to feel bad about themselves. Okay, that worked good because that's kind of right in there. And then last but not least, we got to get this guy. So his the only thing I care about is that his hole is... There's nothing behind his hole, right? Because we need that for our ribbons. The plan is coming together, people. Okay, this I have to squish. All right. So we're gonna finish up this page now because this stuff should all be dry or at least dry enough. So now I'm used to below, this is a write all, meaning it writes on anything. And I want to highlight these tags down here. All right, I gotta see where that tag ends. Is it in there? Yep, it ends there. So I'm just gonna go along here and write on this. And then go around the edge. And just grunge up the edge. And then we're gonna go to, I almost flipped it over like the back is the back. Um, then we're gonna come over here. And this is all I'm gonna do with the back of this for right now. It's not a focus page. It's just the back of this page. Now, one day when I'm when I'm bored and I need something to do, I might come back and revisit this one. Um, and then, ooh, this is the brush one, fun. Okay, so what you do with this is you just activate this pencil and it turns into, I feel like I have a lot of water on there, and it turns into like black grunge. And if you used a finer one, you would get more precision. I'm not looking for precision. I'm looking for, actually I'm looking for the opposite of precision. I like that it's a little bit funky. So that's gonna be the back. All right, now let's go. I will be a little bit more careful around here because I want this to be nice. But see how creating a darker part there. And when I pick up more of this over here, I can come back in and move it in there. Let's dry it a bit. So bring this down in here. And even if I got some on there, because the glossy accents is on there, you could get it right off. All right, let's grunge up this inch. Edge, inch. 
Okay. There we go. Nicely done. Good job. Okay, now we need to glue this together and we need to glue it into the book. So, this is going to be this weird little page right here, okay? So the first thing I'm gonna do is glue the back part on. And we're gonna use our art glitter glue because this is the best for this. You get the best coverage. It's very, um, it sticks really well. It's probably my favorite glue. Uh-oh. I don't want something that isn't attached because then that'll weaken our contact with this. Okay, so let's do this. Give it a nice push down. Give it a wee second to catch, as it were. Okay, so now we have the back done. Make sure there's no glue over here. All right, now let's turn this around. Clean that up a wee bit. I'm gonna put Yoo-Hoo glue stick in the middle, right, to cover all this part. And then I'm gonna put art glitter glue around here. And I don't know exact if these pages are exactly the same size, right? But we don't worry about that because we can just cut them off if we need to. Okay, and then this is the binding. So we have to put lots of glue in this binding. Okay, got that. Check, check, checky, check, check. So let's go with the top, right? Because we have all those dangles on the bottom. So even if the bottom wasn't perfect, it would still be fine. Let's push this down. It's helping our grunge factor. And I'm gonna come on the back here. I don't wanna squish, I don't know if my um, glossy accent is completely dry and I don't, I can always come back in and do that. Okay, so that is very cool. And now we have this, right? And then we have a place for our tag to go in. Fun. And I feel like we're gonna have to, yep, this isn't, I need this to be more stuck together up here, which is fine. So we're just gonna do this. You can probably see this better than I can. Okay, that's really nicely stuck together. Okay, and now let's move this up here so you can see. Now we're gonna add our ribbons. So let's see we have three red and two blue. And this is the biggest hole, and I think I'm gonna use this fancy ribbon. And I think that's a pretty way to hang ribbons. Okay, so next we're gonna do a black ribbon. And I may find out, I'm starting to think I may not like that. It's fine, let's do the rest of them and we'll see if we like that ribbon. I'm feeling like it just is too fat compared to the other ones, but let's give it a wee minute. I never make a snap decision till I see it done. And if I don't like it, I, I mean, I didn't even glue it on. I can just pull it off. Okay, so I love all these ribbons except for this one. So we're gonna not use this one. Don't worry, we won't throw out this piece of ribbon. It'll go somewhere else. But it just doesn't look right there. And what I thought was I would go to my ribbon stash and get a, a piece of um, cream colored ribbon to like make it even more festive with three colors than two 
two colors, right? And I think that, that maybe Common Wisdom would have said to go with white since this is white up here. But number one, there's a good chance that eventually I'll grunge that up. And number two, because it would be down here by these guys, if I did white there, it would look really weird. Okay, so I don't know how long that was. So I'm gonna cut a really long piece. And then we can always come back in. And this is cream. It may look white on the, on the video, but this is very definitely more cream than bright white. All right, see? That looks so much better. And you can see the grommet. You can see the shape of this down here. I think that looks really good. And maybe I will keep this one a little bit longer than the other ones. All right, now let's check. I haven't even looked. Let's check and see what it looks like when we shut it. Is it going to shut? Oh, yeah. It'll shut. Okay, we shut it, and then we have these sticking out the bottom, and I love that. I love things hanging all over my journal. So that is it. That's our tag-along page. Now that'll bend eventually, but I think this turned out really cute, and I'm happy with it. So hopefully you love it too. Tara Jacobson, Artsy Fartsy Life.